So in this video, I pick up from where I left off from the last video on introducing some regression basics. In particular, in this video, I would like to focus on this horrible, hideous-looking equation, and it's for what we call the correlation coefficient, or R. Um, this equation captures a linear, the degree of linear association, and it also tells us a little bit about the direction. Uh, so instead of just uh, going through and like doing examples of, of how we can go ahead and plug into this equation, got an example in the Excel spreadsheet I'm sending, uh, what we'll do is we'll give you perhaps a little bit of an idea of when this is going to be big, when it's going to be small, um, and kind of give you an idea of uh, when this is going to be positive or when it's going to be negative. Um, so first thing to notice is that what we're doing is we're taking the difference between the explanatory variable and its mean, and we're multiplying that by the difference between the response variable and its mean. And so, for example, uh, we, we want to think about, well, when are we going to get positive contributions to this sum here, and when are we going to get negative contributions? Well, let's take a look at the numbers up here and think about uh, what... Uh, how these numbers relate to their respective means. Now, I've done the li I've taken the liberty of color coding uh, each of the uh, each of the observations and the variables uh, with respect to how it is with its mean. If I did it with red, it's less than the mean. And if I wrote it in blue, it's greater than. Now notice that if x for a particular observation is bigger than its mean, and y is bigger than its mean, that is, if they are both blue, we're multiplying two positive numbers together. So what we'll get is a positive contribution to this sum. Notice also that if we multiply, uh, if, if, if y is less than its mean, and x is less than its mean, we're multiplying, again, we'll, we're multiplying two negative numbers, but two negative numbers, the product of that, is positive, and so we'll get a positive uh, contribution to the sum. Now notice that that corresponds with a positive slope in our regression line. The line will pass right through x bar, y bar, and it will essentially be fitted to these points as closely as it can. And R captures how closely and what direction we end up getting. Notice that when it, they're all red, as is the case here, um, they're down in this quadrant. When they're all blue, they're up in this quadrant, and then the line is going to be positively sloped. Now, if they were opposite color, what would happen would be, uh, for example, if, if x were uh, 640 here and 520 there, this would be an opposite color than that. That would mean that we would be multiplying a negative number with a positive number, and that would cause a negative contribution to this sum. And therefore, we would get, an, uh, if we have more observations that are opposite color, we have more observations that are lying in this quadrant and this quadrant, and we get a negative relationship between the two variables. And so correlation, as you can see, describes the association, positive or negative, between x variable and the y variable. And it gives us kind of a good sense for what's going on. Now, I've neglected to uh, mention these bits down here, and this is just the sample variance of x, this is the sample variance of y, and this is uh, the sample size minus 1. Uh, but the whole point of, of this garbage down here is so that r is somewhere between negative 1 and 1. It can't be any smaller, and it can't be any bigger. All the points lie on a downward sloping line, 
then R is negative 1. All the points lie on an upward sloping line, then R is 1. And so that, uh, that tells you that this not only measures the direction of the relationship, but it measures the strength of the linear association between X and Y. And so if we have points that are really close to this line, we're going to end up with um, a, a much greater in magnitude.